This is All India Radio Shillong, the North East News Bulletin read by Rahul Chatterjee. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate Maitri Setu between India and Bangladesh today through video conferencing. The bridge Maitri Setu has been built over Feni River which flows between Indian boundary in Tripura and Bangladesh. The name Maitri Setu symbolizes growing bilateral relations and friendly ties between India and Bangladesh. With this inauguration, Tripura is set to become the gateway of Northeast with access to Chittagong port of Bangladesh. The Prime Minister will also lay foundation stone for setting up an integrate, integrated check post at Sabroom. It will help ease the movement of goods and passengers between the two countries, provide new market opportunities for products of northeastern states and assist seamless movement of passengers to and from India and Bangladesh. In poll-bound Assam, today is the last day for filing of nomination papers for the first phase of the elections. So far, 52 candidates have submitted nomination papers. Polling will be held in 47 seats in this phase on the 27th of this month. Chief Minister and senior BJP leader Sarvanand Sonowal will submit his nomination today at Majuli, which he represents in the Assembly. Assam State Congress President Ripun Bora has submitted nomination at Gopur. Assam Gana Parishad President Atul Bora and Executive President Keshab Mahanta submitted nomination papers. Jailed leader of Raijar Dal, Akhil Gogoi, also filed nomination at Guwahati Medical College and Hospital. Senior BJP leader and Speaker of the Assam Assembly Hitendra Nath Goswami at Jorhat, Minister Ranjit Datta at Behali, and Navakumar Dole filed nomination at Dhakua Khana. President of Assam Jatiya Parishad, Lurin Jyoti Gogoi and senior leader of the party, Jagdish Bhuya, too filed nomination. In Sikkim, filing of nominations for elections to seven municipalities ended yesterday. Scrutiny of nominations will be undertaken today and the last date for withdrawal of candidature is up to 3 p.m. on the 11th of March. Polls to 51 municipal wards will be held through 90 polling stations on the 31st of this month and votes will be counted on the 3rd of April. Union Minister for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Narendra Singh Tomar yesterday inaugurated the Central Agricultural University Regional Agri-Fair 2020-2021 through video conferencing at Central Farm Lampelpat in Manipur. Addressing the function, Mr. Tomar conveyed his best wishes to every woman in the country on the occasion of International Women's Day. He stated that women had been taking equal part in bringing progress and development in the country. Mentioning names of different women personalities of northeastern states, he added that women from the region had made the country proud in different fields and disciplines. He further stated that the regional agri-fair would be much helpful to farmers of the northeast in increasing their production and getting access to new farming technologies. On the occasion of International Women's Day, Meghalaya Governor Satyapal Malik yesterday inaugurated the first human milk bank in the state at the Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, Jayao, Shillong. The human milk bank is funded by the Rotary Club Shillong at an estimated cost of 10 lakh rupees. Speaking on the occasion, Governor Malik said that breastfeeding is the best method of infant feeding since human milk continues to be the only milk which is tailor-made and uniquely suited to human infants. He further said that if mother's milk is unavailable or insufficient, the next best option is to, use, is to use pasteurized donor human milk. Earlier, District Governor of Rotary Club Dr. Devashish Das said that this is the first human milk bank in Meghalaya and the 25th in the country. Meghalaya Home Minister Lakhman Rimboi said in the Assembly yesterday that the government will try to complete the process of filling up of various vacancies lying with the Home Department Home Police Department in the next few months. He was replying to a question raised by Congress MLA from Maulai Process D. Saukmi on the second day of the budget session. Mr. Rimbo informed that there are 2,228 posts lying vacant in the police department, right from grade 4 to the top position. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.